Hello friends, welcome back. So now we have created the form to create a new category and let's work with uh, update also. So when we click the edit, yeah, we don't have the edit method. Also, we don't have the page. And the same for the posts. And here we need to change this to be posts, not categories. And also here to say new post. So let's work first with that. Let's open the views, posts, index. And here we need to say posts. And on the create, we need to say new post here. And I think the same on the categories. When we create new one, let's say new category. So categories create and say here, the new category. Okay, now let's work with the update. So here we need to create the edit method. Let's close everything and let's open the category controller. And let's create down there the edit method. So let's say method, edit, and in here we need the category and I'm going to use a road multiple binding and then we need to return the view categories edit and add also the compact category. So for that let's go inside the views categories create and I'm going to save this as edit and here I'm going to say update category or edit category we don't need now to create or let's leave it the link to create new category there the route is going to change to be categories update and we need to add the category ID here And if I save and come here, yeah, let's go and edit. Category controller edit does not exist. Ah, yeah, I don't save this. So refresh and let's say edit. And we are there. So let's click here. Okay, now let's fill the name of the Slack with the right. So now let's fill the name and the slack. If you go to the split documentation in the form, we have also the model binding. So we need to add here the default and the model. So let's copy that. And with that, we are okay. In the edit, in the form, just change the model to be category. If I save, now we have that. Okay, if I say submit, uh, the method is not supported for the road post, so we need to change also the method. And if we have a method here, maybe just go and add it in the form. So let's say method to be put, I'm going to say, and Come here and say submit. Yeah, now we say update does not exist in the category controller. Good, let's create that in the category controller. Let's create the method update. And I'm going to use the same request. So let's say category uh, store request, dollar sign request, and use also the category, bind the category here. And then I'm going to say, and let's leave the tab nine to work for us. So category update, the request validated. Title category updated successfully and returned to the road category index. Very good. Let's save and let's see how it's going to work. I'm just going to say, remove everything here and say submit. And now we have the name has already been taken. And this is because we in the category store request, which say required and 
max255 and unique the category's name but on update I don't want to have this unique the category name except this one so for that what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to transform this in the array and let's say something like this okay now here I'm going to use the rule validation import from the illuminate validation and use the unique so uh, okay so rule unique the categories and ignore this road category okay if I save and come here and refresh say submit yeah I don't have that so let's do the same for the slack also we can specify here the column so let's say name in here and slug in here and a refresh okay category update is successfully let's go and update the test I'm going to suggest test you submit and category updated and we have the test you here let's also update remove this or just let's update the slug and yeah everything works correctly now let's do the same for the post yeah first we don't need we don't have the edit method so let's open the post controller and create the edit method here and we need the post here dollar sign post but also we need the uh, all the categories because when we create we have all the categories here so let's do the same and let's grab the categories we have done in the create and let's return the view post edit compact post the categories okay just remove this added by tab 9 and go to the post edit and now the post edit not found so let's create the file in the post create let's save this one as edit and here instead of new post I'm going to say edit post the route is going to be post update and add the post id now also the method is going to be put and let's save now refresh edit and yeah now let's add the let's bind the model the same thing we have done in the uh, category so we need to specify the model in here and instead of category we need to say post now and as you can see here we have the category first title slug and description 
I say submit, we don't have the update. So let's create the update method in the post controller. And also here I'm going to use the same request, so post store request as a request and also get the post, bind in the post here. And let's say a post update request validated, post title post updated and return to the road. Very good. Let's save and let's now if it's going to work. If I say submit, the slug has already been taken. So let's open that we have the same rule for the slug here. So we need to add what we added in here, rule unique. So let's copy this and Paste it in here, import the rule from the illuminated validation rule. Just now it's going to be rule unique to the posts and slug is that and this road post. Save, refresh, let's say submit, we redirected back. And second title here, let's update this. I'm going to change this to test you, the category, second title updated. And let's save. And here we have that. So second title updated, test you. Okay, now let's update the slug. And also change one more to the Rosanna and say submit. And second title updated, second title up, slug, and category Rosanna Nicolaus. Okay, that's it about this video, friends, how we can make an update with the split form components. We bind the model on the form and automatically is going to fill the fields. Very easy. And also we, with help of tab 9, is going to create very quickly. So if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. And all the best.